los que están convencidos se tiran al principio del túnel los que dudan en la mitad del andén los que están convencidos se tiran al principio del túnel los que dudan en la mitad del andén y los que solo quieren llamar la atención al final cuando el tren ya se va deteniendo They say the new intelligent buildings detect and repel a great percentage of humidity and dust. Yeah. They're so intelligent that they are leaving us without a job. <laughs> es aburrido. Uno va de un extremo al otro de las vías. Es aburrido. Uno va de un extremo al otro de las vías. La misma rutina todos los días. Claro, tengo mis prestaciones, vacaciones, aguinaldo, préstamo para vivienda. Ya llevo aquí 18 años. La seguridad es lo más importante. Yo llevo seis años trabajando aquí y pues, gracias a Dios nunca he tenido un percance. Bueno, quizá lo único es el joven que se aventó al final del andén y que por fortuna salió con vida. Susan? Susan? Are you all right? Yeah, I just, uh... <clears throat> I think you've just been working too much. You might need to take it easy. Yeah. Okay. If you need anything, let me know. Thanks.
Thank you. Mm. Pues la cosa es no dejarse, Robert. No andar tristeando por ahí, porque si no, pues todo por lo que venimos se va al carajo. A veces yo también me siento solo. ¿Y por qué no te casas con Rosy? Ah, la llevas bien con su hijo, ¿no? No, ¿cómo crees? Mi mujer y mis hijos me están esperando allá en la tierra. Marco de la Rosa quiere que lo lleve el domingo a la Fire Stage. ¡Anímate! Igual invitamos a la Cris. Ya sabes que la traes de cabeza. <risa> Mira que pagar 20 dólares por ver la ciudad desde arriba. Hombre, si te animas, nos llamas. ¿Eh? Mira. ¿Eh? Aquí tengo una tarjeta. ¡Órele! <risa> Bajo tierra nomás cuando esté muerto. <risa> bueno. Nos vemos. There's a running joke here. The people commit suicide in the subway because it only costs 15 cents a ticket. Cheaper than a cigarette. So far, I've only found statistics. The families of the victims refuse to talk, and just a few operators let themselves be interviewed. Alfredo seems to be the most direct, the least opinionated. daughter doesn't want to party. She's turning 14 years old. She'd rather go to a rock concert. You're getting old, Phil. The point is, she's growing up so fast. You know, we go to work every day, go to the market once a week, go to the movies, go to church. And suddenly you wake up one day and life has passed you by. That's Mexico City subway, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, are you from Mexico? Yeah. I'm doing a documentary about the subway system here. It's 
So you're not afraid of the uh, heights? Oh, how oh, no. You get used to it. Later on, you end up liking it. Um, my favorite place to eat in the, in Mexico City is this place called um, La Alameda. I've never been there. Thank you. Thank you.
know why Dad used to love to come here. I mean, so far out of the way. It's always so windy, too. Um, Helen, did you ever meet Rebecca? No. I didn't know until we found those photos in that box after Dad died. I was 10. You would have been in, uh... Well, you'd been a sophomore. I was on 78th and 1st. I saw Dad follow him. I didn't know what I was doing or where I was going, but I just, just kept following him. And then I saw her. They were standing right there. You know, I remember walking one day down here with that. And this wind blew the hat off my head. And he ran after it. And I lost him for a moment. And he just came running back. And he had my hat in his hand. I never knew how he did it, but he was always there. Always. You know, it's funny. We're always trying to keep our heads above water, you and me. I keep running, you keep hiding. It's like we always need to have a plan B. We're living plan B. You always wanted to believe that he didn't... He didn't accept Mom's death, but... He was always waiting for someone else. We just don't want to see the truth. The French say that Americans don't want the truth. They want certainty. That's why I left. I can't find what I'm looking for here. It's... It's impossible. I broke it. Tom's crystal clock. You remember the one that she, uh, she kept in the dining room cabinet with the good china? It was packed with all the things I brought back to the apartment 
after she died. I brought those boxes with me when I moved back from Brooklyn to my apartment on 48th and to my place now. I woke up one morning and it was snowing. And I wanted to stop. And I, I knew that I couldn't make it stop. And I don't know why, but I, I dug out mom's clock and I put it on the dining room table and I, and I kept pushing it further and further towards the edge. And finally, I let it, I let, I let it go. All I can think was, she can't miss it now. I kept giving it a chance. I, I thought I... Even if it falls, maybe it won't break. This is what you do on a Sunday. Well, I only discovered this last week. I come here a lot. It's amazing what they can do. Yeah. Everybody should try this sometime. What's the movie you're making about? 
Um, it's a documentary about the Mexico City subway system and how people commit suicide there. Are there many? Actually, there's there's more than one a day. The authorities don't don't tell the public because they don't want to encourage other people to try it. I never understand it. Suicide? Yeah. Last time I was in Mexico, I went to see the pyramid. I wish I could go there. I'm from a place way down south of Mexico. Is your family here also? My wife is still in Mexico. I want to save up money to put a uh, business over there. What about you? Where's your family? Both my parents passed away and um, my sister lives in France with her husband. So you are your own? We get used to it. de la 125 que hemos estado mucho mejor y además aquí debe ser medio carito ¿eh? sí. es, es que eso es lo que te decía el otro día ¿cuánto tiempo llevas aquí? ¿ocho o nueve años? no, pues ya casi diez ¿ves? en diez años no conoces más que lo que te tocó como si solo perteneciéramos a un lugar ya nos acostumbramos a ver a nuestros amigos por la puerta trasera pasar desapercibidos. Antes, ¿por qué no tenías papeles? Ahora que los tienes, ¿qué? Qué raro eres, mano. No, pues se trata de estar bien con la gente. El, pues la gente que, que es como uno. Nada más aquí a estar bien caro, ¿eh? ¿Ves? Otra vez. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Mira, aquel también se debe sentir bastante incómodo con ese trajecito y esa bufandita. Esperando a alguien que a lo mejor ni siquiera existe. <risa> Ay, Ron, es que no entiendes. Nosotros nos venimos de nuestros países porque no teníamos nada. Y llegamos acá y seguimos sin nada. Eh, eh, no, 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 no. Yo en mi tierra no tenía ni dónde caerme muerto y aquí tengo mi taller de soldadura. My car, and money. Ahorritos poquitos, pero tengo. Pero es que es lo mismo. A donde vayamos es lo mismo. Es como. Si creyéramos que toda la suerte ya está dada y que le tocó a otros. Y a nosotros nada más nos tocan las puras migajas y las obras. Y para decirme eso, me citaste hasta por acá. 
Me lo hubieras dicho en el fútbol el domingo. ¿Mm? Eh, fuera. No sé. Pinot. ¿No? ¿Please? Thank you. I just want to download some of this uh, onto my computer at home so I can work from there. It's just that sometimes at work it gets distracting. So it's just a... You are what they call workaholic. Are you gonna put the New York subway in your movie? Uh, I was going to originally, but then I, I realized that the movie wasn't about um, suicides in the subway around the world. It was um, uh, anyway. Well, actually, I, I realized it uh, was about my father. He committed suicide over there. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you been back to Mexico since then? Uh, no. Just, just for this. I was there two years ago. It was too hard to re-enter the U.S. I have to wait until. I have a little more saving. I don't know. Maybe one more year. It must be hard to, to be so far from home. Yeah. It will be harder not having someone to come back. True. True. Uh, would you, do you want another beer? No, 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 thank you. This is the first time that a real New Yorker invites me to their home. Can I? Oh, yeah. Yes, um, it's one of my favorites. Uh, the B-side, um, the last song is the best. Sonia, Irina's daughter. Well, she likes to uh, have her name be Irene. She wants us to call her Irene. You know, like your friend Rami. Well, what's what's his other name again? Romualdo. Yes, that's it. Uh, Irina and Sonia came from Russia uh, a few years ago. Her husband was supposed to join her, but 
he didn't show up. And then Irene was diagnosed with cancer this year. Sonia doesn't have paper, so she she can't go to school. It's, it's very complicated. So alone and so far from home. Deserted shore, your fickle friends are leaving. Ah, oh, but then you know it's time for them to go. But I will still be here. I have no thought of leaving. I do not count the time For who knows where the time goes Who knows where the time Today, Alfredo, the subway operator, spoke to me about removing a person's remains after a suicide and how service starts again after only 10 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. you too. People. Ah, they were having problems with the cash register. Ah. Georgia was station feel. I really can't find any friends. You don't? No. It's like night and day. One thing to make a donut, but it's another thing to make a good cup of coffee, as my wife would say. You being happy? <laughs> My uh, cousin Ernie went to the West Coast when he was 17. No money, no education. We never knew what happened to him. Thought he was long gone. After a while, he showed up with a family and he owned a travel agency. <laughs> My brother Jeremy had talent. He had that something special, a spark, as my mother said. We all put in a lot of effort so that he could get educated, go to college. He would have been the first in our family to go. He turned out to be a junkie. Died at 25. 
I'm uh, somewhere in between. Maybe that's happiness. Chef. That's what I would have been, a chef. <laughs> no. no, but a famous like on TV and in the magazines. <laughs> oh. Julia, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> When I, was, when I was younger, my father would take my sister and I over the bridge. And um, when we got tired, um, he would promise to give us an ice cream after, if we got to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he makes me cross it quite often, just to avoid taking this all away. Oh. <laughs> and without any ice cream, as a reward. <laughs> <laughs> I worked. There, cleaning windows. Oh, there you did. Ah, mira la estatua. Le voy a hacer una foto. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. preciosa. So you don't like to take the subway. You're afraid of the uh, underground, and I'm afraid of the heights. So we just, we'll just stay in the middle. <laughs> ¿Conductores del metro mis hijos? No, bueno. ¿Conductores del metro mis hijos? No, bueno. No tiene nada de malo, es un trabajo digno, pero me gustaría más que fueran doctores, abogados. Ella quiere ser artista, ¿verdad, mija? What did Rami and Rossi say? Oh, uh, I talked to Rami and he said this hard stuff made him really nervous. <laughs> what about you? I don't know. I think I like it. Well, I've only been on the Museum of Modern Art. I went two years ago when the cleaning cleaning company gave us free tickets. How was it? Good.
My uh, wife left enough coffee and food to last for two days. <laughs> She'll be back in four hours. <laughs> We were um, working with the Texan up around the 35th floor at 6th and 42nd Street. And I remembered that this was the building where I first started cleaning windows. But something was different. Suddenly the wind started to blow. I stopped. And I looked at my reflection in the glass. Behind my head, all the buildings as if they were floating with me through the city. And extraordinary couple of seconds. After that, the Texan said I passed out. Doc said it was pressure and uh, an oxygen level. But no. Something. Something different. I'm uh, going to be back to work on Monday. You have any trouble finding the place? No. I felt weird as I walked here, like I was being watched. Huh? It's not my neighbor. Aren't there any black people in Mexico? Yes, on the coast, but very few. It is weird to bump into one of them. Well, it's not much different here. People don't mingle. Blacks, Jews, Latinas, Polish, Arab. It would seem that Manhattan was a neutral ground. Then we all go back to our forts and think about everyone else as the enemy. So, how's your documentary going? Ugh, stuck. Aren't you finding what you're looking for? No. Well, I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. I mean, I thought I did, but just everything is just blending into one now. Oh. I spend my time traveling the world, writing reviews so that people can become the best tourists they can afford, right? Mm -hmm. And I try to highlight all the particular differences so I can showcase its character, but... The truth is that everything, in the food, the hotels, the airports, and even people's needs are becoming more and more generic. So Peter's getting remarried, that's why he called not to get back together. Well, everyone has to move on. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I know. Everyone has to move on, but why does he get to move on first? Because why you, does he get the golden ticket? Because you don't know what you want. Come on, Susan. You need to try new things. I mean, what about this new guy? What's his name? Roberto? Yeah, this Roberto guy. Have you seen him naked yet? <laughs> no, I have not seen him naked. You know, things don't just happen like that overnight, that. Why not? Because, because... There's more involved. I don't know. I want... I don't know, you asked me what I wanted. I want something... I want something more real. Mm 
Okay. You know, a relationship. Well, fine, but come on. Love is... is divorce, cheating. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but it's out there. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't want to get fucked over. I just... But I, I want to I wanna feel like... I don't know, I want to feel... Something. I haven't felt anything in years. And the irony is, is that, is that I'm finding out all this information about dad and him killing himself in this affair and, and did he really love mom and, you know, did he even love us and, it's a lot and I, I still don't feel anything. scared. Susan, you need a break. Come on, come to Paris. Spend some time with me. You need to get out of here. I could shake all the songs from my pen. Rewrite every word I said. And I could fall, I could fall, I could fall All again I wish we were in Mexico, on the beach. Puerto Escondido is my favorite. I never seen the ocean until I came here. Wow. My father used to take us, when my mother was still alive, to Coney Island. Mm. That's where they have the roller coasters. In Spanish? We call the roller coaster Rosa Mountain. I don't know why. <laughs> My neighbor, Irene. You remember Sonia's mom? Yeah. She has to go to the hospital for some. Um, Chemo. Anyway, she asked me to take care of Sonia for a few days. I'm, I'm going to take her to Central Park for the weekend. It would be great if you wanted to join. Yes. Thank you.
fue la primera vez yo tendría cinco o seis meses de haber entrado vi a la mujer en el andén demasiado cerca de la orilla yo sentí escalofríos puso su suéter delante de su cara y se aventó hacia mí sin darme tiempo ni de reaccionar aún me acuerdo de su última mirada se suspendió el servicio, vinieron a limpiar los restos y me dijeron que fuera con el psicólogo de la empresa. Yo les dije que estaba bien, pero ellos insistieron. Me fui a casa, era demasiado temprano y mi familia no estaba. Me preparé un café y de repente sentí mucha tristeza y me puse a llorar toda la tarde. Yesterday I went back to Clear Khan Station where Dad killed himself. I realized that I've been looking for a way to change the story. But the reality is that he didn't jump in the middle of the platform, he jumped in front of the train. Uh, Susan, um, this is Roberto. Sorry for calling you at home, but it's been some time since we've known anything about you. We are worried. Um, I guess you accepted your sister's invitation to go to France. Call me when you come back. Um, Romy says hello. Bye.
Sí, Romy. Qué bueno que te encuentro. Es Susan. I'm Helen, Susan's sister. Please, come on in. Why don't I leave you two alone? I'm gonna make a phone call, okay? Romy says hello. I don't want you to worry about me, Roberto. I woke up this morning and... It was such a beautiful day. I want to thank you. I must come back to my country and find the reasons. Put all the pieces back together. So that I can start again. You know, you and me are not different. I've heard that together we became stronger. It has been worth it. Thank you.
I'm going to quit. I'm going back to my hometown. It's been a long time. I have little something save up to start all over again. What do you think, Phil? Have you ever thought of going somewhere else and start over? I've never been out of New York. <laughs> 